the 2019 Ford Expedition Limited. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to cover all the standard as well as optional equipment that is available on that limited trim of the 2019 Ford Expedition. We already have a video on the XLT as well as a Platinum. Uh, finally got some limiteds with some of these different cool packages that are available on the limited trim and stock. Uh, so this is a great time to do this video. We'll first start off, we like to call this our complete guide because it will cover everything that is possible on your limited. You may have to pull off some clips from Ford's website to cover everything, but we'll make sure you have all the knowledge if you're looking for a limited trim expedition. So first we'll talk about standard equipment, uh, that's that 300A equipment group, and then we'll talk about the 301A, 302A, and we'll move on to a, some new packages for 2019, and then we'll get to standalone options and separate packages as well. So very thorough video, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, a couple things we want to talk about before we move to the front. Uh, first, I'd like to cover the safety on the vehicle. And now, if you've watched our XLT or a Platinum video, it's going to have all the same safety features as those have. So, a lot of the same uh, features. So, you can go ahead and fast forward to the front of the vehicle. So, first thing I want to talk about for safety is the airbags. Dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger it means it's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. So, really protect those occupants from those front collisions. Also, you're going to have a side impact airbag for the driver and front passenger that's going to protect them from those side collisions, of course. And then don't forget about the safety canopy airbag that's going to deploy down with the rollover sensor. So if you're going to have a vehicle going to roll over, deploy those airbag, come down and protect the occupants uh, along those windows of the side of the vehicle. So it is going to have that. Also, don't forget advanced track with roll stability control to help you keep you on your intended path. So it's going to use a series of brakes. Uh, on the vehicle if you're going into a curve too fast or maybe it's a slick driving road and you start to kind of lose traction advanced track is uh, made to keep you on your intended path uh, so it's going to use that to help protect it including uh, roll stability control with this uh, bigger SUV here. Also with this you're going to have the uh, child safety locks over here so you can lock and have those locked out so if kids are in those outbound, outbound seats there they're not going to open those doors if you're going down the road also the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children that's going to securely have those seat belts, uh, those car seats I should say, securely mounted to the back of those seats so you can uh, secure those in with that latch system, the lower anchors and tethers for children. So you're going to have all those, uh, those features there. Don't forget the, about the SOS post crash alert system that's going to honk the horns and flash the lights. If you happen to be in an accident, you're off the road, lets people know uh, that you're needing to come to safety. Also, 911 assist. It allows you to call 911 directly uh, as long as you have your phone Bluetooth into the system. Uh, so that way, instead of relying on a third party uh, provider like OnStar or something like that, you're going to call 911 directly. Uh, if you're in an accident, you need help, you can do that as well. So, Great safety features on this uh, that you'll really uh, find that's going to be standard equipment on a lot of your other Ford vehicles that are standard equipment on your Ford Expedition as well. So we're going to talk about the front. Now the Expedition here is available in two different lengths. You have your regular length and you have your max. And a lot of websites will differentiate those from Expedition and Expedition Max for those looking for the extended length the way our website does. Uh, you can also get it in two-wheel drive or the optional 4x4. So, uh, four different configurations for you on your Expedition. Now let's talk about the engine that's going to be on this. It is going to be a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Uh, that's going to have the auto start stop technology. And auto start stop means that it's going to, uh, when you press the brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off until you release from the brake and it's going to turn it back on. So it's going to help uh, conserve on some fuel economy. A uh, couple different uh, tips on that if that's something you do not like. Uh, you like, you know, just you don't like that that uncomfortable feeling of that. There is a button you just uh, press that button and it's going to deactivate it for that trip. So you do have to do it every time you start the vehicle, um, but it's just a quick button. It's right there on top of the dash, uh, located above that screen there. Also, you can uh, another tip that I found is if maybe at some points in time where you don't mind it, but uh, at that present time you want it running, if you just barely let up on the brake the brake's still engaged, it'll actually turn the vehicle on. So just keep that in mind too. Also, when you put it in park, it'll also uh, turn the vehicle, keep the vehicle on as well. So a couple little tips on that. Now let's talk about the performance on that EcoBoost engine. It's gonna get you 375 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. So plenty of power to be able to do any kind of towing. If you do get the heavy duty trailer tow package, I believe it tows up to about 8,700 pounds, I think, which is a class exclusive uh, max trailer tow for any other vehicle in its class. So, Also for the uh, transmission, it's a 10 speed automatic transmission with select shift. And select shift means that you can put it in that manual mode or that sport mode and be able to shift it up and down like a manual transmission. Also comes in handy for coming down uh, like mountain 
uh, tops, so like if you're coming down steep slopes or going up, uh, you can actually use it to be able to shift up and down that way too. Uh, so a couple of different configurations there that are available for you. Now here on the front, uh, this does have, oh, fuel economy, let's talk about that for a second. Your two wheel drive regular length are gonna get you about 17 miles per gallon in the city and about 24 miles per gallon on the highway. And then your two wheel drive, the extended length will get you about 17 in the city and about 23 miles per gallon on the highway. And then your four by four regular length will get you about 17 miles per gallon in the city, about 22 miles per gallon on the highway. And then when you go to that four by four max length, you're gonna get about 16 miles per gallon in the city and about 21 miles per gallon on the highway. So you notice the highway just kept coming down one at a time when you went to those different ones. And then uh, most of them are about 16 to 17 in the city regardless. Uh, so that's how that uh, breakdown is gonna be on that. Now here in the front of this, this is the 302A equipment group. So it does have upgraded headlights. So your standard headlights on these are gonna be a halogen headlight. They're gonna be automatic, which means uh, automatically if you have an auto setting, they're gonna come on, on when it gets dark, turn off when it gets light enough out. So uh, that's how those are gonna work. Also, you're gonna get halogen fog lights as well. So you will get those uh, fog lights on it. And then you'll see as we talk about different packages, the upgrades you're gonna have with the, uh, the light here on the front. I love the grill up here. It is distinct for your limited. So you does have the nice chrome grill up here, uh, kind of a five bar grill, as you can see with the silver um, mesh in between there. And you're going to see the silver painted here on the lower part of that bumper too. Chrome accent here around that. And a lot of people really love that. In fact, a lot of them will upgrade to these uh, limited for this or for the, the chrome accent around the outside of those uh, headlights as well. So a little bit different headlight and uh, accents here on the front of it than you get from the XLT. So great look up here on the front of it. You do get a front sensing system, uh, standard equipment on your limited, as well as you're gonna have the windshield wiper de-icers now as standard equipment uh, with the limited too. So windshield wiper de actually on the XLT, you get the windshield wiper de-icers as well. So what that means is when it's, uh, you know, winter time, it'll de you'll get that defrost to defrost the windshield but then those wipers are still wet. And so then when you go to wipe, eventually they'll freeze up on you uh, when it's cold enough outside and you're driving on the highway. Windshield wiper de-icers keep those defrosted so that way they're gonna be actually functional when you need to use those uh, in the winter time. Now as we move around to the side, now keep in mind this is the wheel that's part of the 301 or 302A equipment group. Uh, the standard wheel is gonna be a 20 inch premium dark tarnished painted alloy wheel. So real nice wheel, I'm gonna get from a clip from Ford's website. Uh, we don't order too many of the 300A equipment groups uh, just because we feel like it's really not that much of a, a jump in a way of equipment from a XLT202 uh, to a th standard 300A. Uh, so you won't see a lot of us uh, carry a lot of those vehicles. Uh, but so we'll get into some of these other packages and some of the equipment groups and why we choose to go with those uh, as we move on. But that's a standard wheel that you're going to see on your 300A equipment group. The mirror cap it is a body colored mirror cap. It does, you'll notice it is folded in because it does have the auto fold mirrors. So that means when you lock the vehicle up, those mirrors are gonna fold in automatically. You can also fold them out uh, and in using the controls on the inside. Turn signal indicator here on the outside as well as security approach lamp that's gonna light the ground beside the vehicle when you use your keyless entry or the intelligent access to get in the vehicle. It does have your power heated glass as well. So that way it's gonna heat it in the winter time. I get that defrosted as well as it's gonna have the integrated blind spot mirror. And that's an angled mirror so you can see the vehicles in your blind side a little bit better. Now this does have your intelligent access. I wanna go ahead and talk about it now. Uh, that is the key fob here uh, where you can unlock and lock the vehicle uh, pretty easily with that. It does have remote, uh, remote start on this uh, and I believe that is standard equipment. Uh, this vehicle happens to have it on it. Uh, so as great as you can remote start the vehicle uh, if you're in close proximity with this. And I'll show you another way you can remote start your vehicle as well. Uh, of course you unlock and lock and then there, the key is hidden inside the remote as well. So you can kind of show you what that looks like. Um, but when you have that in your pocket, you don't have to get it out. You don't have to use it to unlock it. You just walk up. It does have the intelligent access. You just put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle and it's going to power fold those mirrors out into place so they're ready to go for your trip. Then you can in and out. And then you can set it inside uh, through your productivity screen, which I do have a video on our YouTube channel that you can check out uh, how to set this up. But you can set it up that when you uh, put your hands in there, it either unlocks just the driver's door or all four of the doors, as well as when you use your remote when you hit that unlock once, what's it going to do? whether it's gonna unlock just one door or all the doors. And then you just press the ridges on the doors and it's gonna lock the vehicle up and then auto fold that mirror into place. So you can use a remote to do all these as well, but if you have them, maybe if you have them in your purse or your pocket, you don't have to get them out and get in and out that way. It does have an invisible keypad entry over here and that would be useful if you wanna leave the keys inside 
or maybe you want to access and get something out of the vehicle and didn't bring, and you don't have your keys on you, you can still use that code to get in and out of the vehicle, not setting the perimeter alarm off. So that's a great way to be able to use that. And I love how it disappears after a little while. Chrome accents around the vehicle. So you had body color door handles with the chrome accent here uh, embedded in those. Uh, when you have the XLT, uh, it's going to be all body colored. Chrome accent here along the window goes uh, along the belt line that goes completely around and just really helps with that floating uh, roof line up there. Uh, so real nice look to it. Now when you go up to limited is where a lot of people like the running boards and that's a benefit because when I was looking at getting a vehicle I got an XLT 202A. It was hard for me to kind of walk up to the Expedition because uh, the power boards are one of the things that I really like on a vehicle. So this does uh, get that when you go to the limited. So magnetic painted with a chrome accent on those uh, running boards on the side. So when you go ahead and open the door it's going to deploy those running back boards down a little bit lower than most of your running boards because the platform running boards kind of sit up right underneath the doors deploys it down a little bit lower than any other running boards also when you have the vehicle shut it's going to deploy them back up under there and kind of protects the top of those from sand snow uh, different things from the road conditions uh, kind of protecting it because it's really hard for it to get slip in there uh, through there giving it a little bit better protection for those kind of different things uh, on the road so that is a great benefit of having the power to board boards there also your roof rack side rails instead of being black when you go to limited it can be a chrome accent with the black on the ends up there so great and look to it of course don't forget about the easy fuel capless filler door you just open it up uh, put the nozzle in there you don't have a cap to worry about losing leaving behind or getting your hands dirty just fill it up when you're done shut the lid there are instructions because if you do run out of gas and you need to use a you know a gas can you'll need to use a funnel that's usually going to be located in the back which we're going to get to when we move to the back of the vehicle now as I move to the back, this does have your privacy glass and it's a dark tinted glass that you're going to see on the back windows, the quarter windows as well as your back glass. It keeps it cooler for everyone inside, also looks much nicer on this uh, vehicle. Rear defrost with rear wiper back here, uh, that way you can keep that glass free of any kind of ice and snow and that kind of thing back here. Rear spoiler back here with the center high mounted stoplight up there on the top of that glass. It does have the nice chrome accent with the Expedition stamped in there going right through the middle of the tailgate. If you have your Max Edition, it'll have your Max Chrome lettering back there and your Limiteds will have your Limited badging or letters down here lower on the tailgate. Does have your rear view camera with the rear washer back here to keep that clear of any kind of uh, anything back there. I love that they've done that because there's been times where I've had to wipe that off uh, so I can see as I'm backing up. Reverse sensing, uh, just like the front sensor, so as you go forward or back, it's gonna alert you as you get too close to anything, uh, letting you know that. And then back here, silver rear skid plate is what they call that down here. And then you do have a cover for your hitch receiver. So uh, class four receiver hitch with four pin and seven pin wiring capabilities. Even if you don't get the heavy duty trailer tow package, you're gonna get the hitch receiver. You just won't be able to have that max amount of trailer towing without that heavy duty trailer tow package. Uh, now also this does have, uh, this glass does pop separate from the lift gate and that button is gonna be positioned just to the right of your rear view camera right under here. You just press it, it releases it, so then you can pull it up. Uh, so it seals real nicely and I love how it works here in conjunction with the rear spoiler. It's all connected together. And then you don't have to slam it down to, to shut it. As you can see, I barely uh, lower it and it's gonna go ahead and lock into place. This does have power lift gate. You can use uh, the button under here if it's unlocked. You can also use your remote to open it or you can use your foot. It does have hands-free foot activated lift gate. So let me show you how that works. Just go a little to the left or the right of the hitch and it's going to go ahead and open up. Now the hitch isn't very big, it's about that wide. So you can, usually what I do is I go about where this uh, opening is for the, the cover. I go right to the left or to the right of that and it's gonna open up just fine. Now, one of the things that's really nice about this is you have shorter and taller people. And so sometimes you need this up a little higher and sometimes a little bit lower, especially if you want to close it, the button is right over here. So you have to be able to reach it. So if you're a little bit shorter, you can bring this down. You can press and hold that button and it's gonna go ahead and when the next time you open it, it'll only go up to that height and it'll stop. So that way you don't have to try to reach that button if you're a little bit shorter. So if you're a little taller, you can go ahead and lift it up, which like I'm gonna do, and then press and hold it till it beeps and it's gonna be positioned in that spot. Here in the back, this is the max length, so you have the max amount of cargo with this one. I'll try, give, try to give you some clips of what the regular length as well looks like uh, that I had for my XLT video. 
So same look for that one too. Uh, now this extended length, I will open this up, show you a little bit more room in here. Now, let me move these. Is this one actually has accessories that needs those. Uh, those are actually the headphones. So we'll open this up. You'll see in the uh, regular length here, you do have a compartment. The regular and the max will look similar to this back compartment. Uh, the difference is you're not gonna get this extra on the uh, regular length. You're still gonna get this open compartment back here. So open that up. You can see it has some compartments to put some things in back there. Your jack is also gonna be located back here. The cargo netting. The cargo netting, you can use these hooks on the side and the loops on the bottom. Put that cargo netting back there, put small items in there. They won't roll around in the cargo area, especially on the max length. It'll really annoy you, kind of annoy you with all those little things like uh, basketballs, soccer balls, baseballs, that kind of thing are rolling around in the cargo area. The funnel is gonna be located back here by the jack uh, if you ever need to fill up the vehicle. So that's how uh, that's located. Underneath here, that is not a function. Actually, if you lift it up, you can see a little more room back there on the max. So you're going to have that. Now the jack will look on the regular link will actually come a little bit to the side and it'll take up about half of this uh, area that we just showed you uh, with that. But with the max, it moves it over there. So you have two different compartments to be able to store some things, more kind of a cargo management system is what they call that for this, uh, the max link back here. And it even has some more room back there as well. So you can, that's a real easy to be able to use back here. And then the third row seat. Let's talk about that for a second. They have that middle seat up, the headrest up. So you'll notice the headrests are up and the seat is 60-40 split bench seat. So you can lay one seat down or another. Now the Expedition has rear independent suspension. There's still some vehicles still have not woken up to the idea of the rear independent suspension because not only is it going to give you a great ride, um, more leg room for those in the rear cargo. So you'll notice on when we get to the inside, how much leg room even those in the third row are gonna have, but also the flexibility of being able to lay the seat flat to the floor without having to take the seat out. Uh, so that's a great feature. So we do have buttons over here, power fold uh, seats uh, back here. So pretty easy to you pick the left, right, or you can pick the, pick the middle. And we'll go ahead and do the middle and you'll see if we press it, you just have to press and release it. And it gets about halfway, those headrests are gonna go down. Uh, so it didn't fold it down. I forgot to tell my wife about that feature and she thought she needed to flip the headrest down, uh, but don't have to do it, it'll do it for you. So real nice laying those uh, down there and then you have a flat low level in there completely. Now let's say you have something a little bit longer, especially this max link will carry something that has a uh, plywood uh, eight feet long will fit in here with those second row seats down. You can fold them down from up here. So go ahead and uh, now this one does have the bucket seats, but even if you have the bench seats, you can lay those down. So you have the, the left and the right and then that other one would be the middle. So hit the left button, it lowers that seat down. We we'll hit the right button and it's gonna lower that one down. Just press and hold it. And now you have a flat load level all the way up to those front seats. So if you do have a big plywood in here, uh, you don't need a truck. You can just put it in your Expedition Max. So real nice uh, configuration back here. Some store, storage compartment over here on the left side as well as some up, upper ones up there for the kids to be able to put some things up there as well. Now we're moving to the interior of the vehicle and in the interior you have two different color options that are available on the limited trim. You have your ebony interior, which just like you would think would be all black interior, your dash, your seats, the flooring uh, on the console will be the ebony interior. Uh, I believe the headliner may be like this. I'll give you clips from Ford's website uh, so you have a good idea what that's going to look like on your vehicle. And then you have your uh, medium stone interior. So on this particular vehicle, I'll show you clips of it. You're going to see a dark brown across the dash, on the doors, on the lower part, the carpet as well as the lower part of the vehicle and then you have that light stone interior that's going to be on the headliner uh, as well as the seats the console cover and your armrest so kind of hopefully get a good idea of what that's going to look like between those two different options for you leather seating surfaces can be standard equipment on your limited so it is an upgraded leather from your xlt with uh, perforations in them you're going to have heated and ventilated seats for the driver and front passenger and ventilated means it's going to pull the air through the seat cooling it off instead of using a cooling agent underneath it so it's going to be a lot quieter as well as you're not going to have to worry about condensation uh, getting on your carpet underneath uh, dual power seats 10 way for the driver and front passenger including power backrest uh, adjustments for the seat cushion as well as power lumbar for the driver and front passenger up here. Uh, second row uh, seating configuration, uh, 40, uh, 40, 20, 40 bench seat there. So a uh, really good configuration. I'm gonna have to show you some clips from Ford's website because this one has the upgraded seats. Those two outside seats can adjust forward and back as well as the middle seat, all individual of each other. 
those two outside seats are going to get heated seat as an upgrade when you go to the limited which is another uh, reason i almost upgraded to a limited myself was for the heated seats on those outside seats my kids are going to have to suffer and not have those heated seats in the winter time so real good configuration you do have redundant controls back here uh, for your climate control tri zone climate control back here or in this vehicle so you can control it back here in the back as well as it does have some usb ports back there i believe it even has a powerpoint so lots of ways a lot of ways to be able to configure uh what you uh, the different plugins back there uh, i think there's two usb ports behind that console as well as a 110 outlet and then the back seat third row seat seats three back there 60 40 split bench seat can lay those down they can also the backrest can recline so power recline for those in the third row seat as well as you're going to see two usb ports as well one on each side of the vehicle so there's six usb ports throughout the vehicle so plenty of ways for everyone to stay connected not have to hear those complaints about their phone being dead and i have i don't i can't do anything on you on your trip Everyone, six people, six out of eight, can have plugins for that. And there's also a PowerPoint in the back, as well as a, a 110 outlet up here. So really, there's plenty of ways for everybody in the vehicle to power their different devices. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I did mention rear climate back there as well. So here in the door, you're going to have your power windows, locks, mirror switches up here. It uh, does have auto one-touch not only for the front windows, but also for the back windows. That is an upgrade when you go to the limited as well. Power driver memory does memorize the seat, the mirror, as well as the tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronically, it'll go up and down, forward and back with this, uh, this configuration here. Uh, so you're going to have that, and that's going to control the setting for that and the steering wheel as well as part of that the um, that controls in fact it has the uh, easy entry and exit so when you shut the vehicle off the steering wheel is going to go up and the seat back to make it easier to get in and out of the vehicle also uh, on this uh, steering wheel leather wrapped it is upgraded leather wrap uh, steering wheel when you go to the limited uh, with the the stitching here uh, the really nice euro style stitching on the steering wheel as well it does have your uh, cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel on the lower part and then on the right side, you're going to have some Bluetooth controls so you can make and receive phone calls using your voice commands right under there. Two D-pads here. The one here on the left is going to control your 8-inch productivity screen here with your uh, off-road and your towing capabilities and functionality within that screen. So you see that screen on the Expedition as well as your trucks. Uh, otherwise, that's the only way you're going to see this uh, productivity screen here. And you're going to see that screen. I think it's XLT. 201A and above, so it's going to be standard on your limiteds. The D-pad over here on the right side that can control your volume controls as well as your pre-settings for your audio controls right there too. So, and that's how you're going to, uh, going to be able to configure those. Push button starts right back here, so you can start it. Don't have to get the keys out of your pocket again to get in and in the vehicle or to start it. And then across the dash, if you do get the 4x4s, it's going to have your uh, your drive modes are going to be here on the, the console. Uh, and uh, so you'll see there is a slot here because on the Super Duties, uh, that's where they position that. So this they use the same dash on the Expedition as they do with the Super Duty. And so they uh, go ahead and replace that with a little coin tray. So it kind of threw me off for a second. Uh, but your, uh, your 4x4 modes are going to be right down here on the console. Uh, along with your shifter knob is going to be right here too. Select shift is going to be the plus and minus right there. I showed you a clip of that earlier, but just to kind of clarify what that was, uh, there's your plus and minus if you put it in that manual mode uh, down there. And then your drive modes. So it's real nice and easy. There's a couple of different ways to shift it in the 4x4. You have your two high and you have your four auto, but you can use the drive modes to put it in whatever it needs. So you're going to be able to see that on your screen. So if you're in uh, whatever condition for the road, you go ahead and change the drive modes for the road conditions and it's going to go ahead and shift it if it needs it to too high or for, uh, for auto, it's going to go ahead and shift that into those uh, for you based on the drive condition. So it's a little bit easier for everybody to be able to understand or you can just use the buttons there to go ahead and position that. And these buttons here in the back, we'll talk about more about that in a different package. And then you do have the uh, cover here for the, the cup holders. And you'll see in there it does those are uh, there's rings down there it does light that up it does have ambient lighting it lights up the cup holders the floor the floor uh, wheel wells uh, or the foot wells i should say down there as well as your door handles so you can change that to different colors and your settings screen on on your touch screen there and then there is also a compartment up here so you slide that open you're going to see in there two smart usb ports in there so you can charge the smartphones as well as a wireless charging pad in there so you can put your wireless phone in there and it could be charging uh, when you're driving to your destination because uh, you shouldn't have it out. Tuck it in there. You'll see also ambient lighting in that little compartment as well there. 
for your climate control. Dual zone climate control here in the front. So driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures. Of course, rear climate, so a tri-zone system for those in the back. Uh, it does have, this one does have your heated steering wheel. Uh, I think that's standard equipment on your limited is having the heated steering wheel. There's a button on this one here, uh, so you're gonna have that as well. Uh, and then your heated and cooled buttons right there as well. For your audio controls, it does have your AM, FM, HD radio. This does have the B&O audio sound system with 12 speakers. So the Bang & Olufsen, great sound. They went from Sony to B&O on a lot of the vehicles, including all your trucks uh, and your Expedition. So you have a great sound with 12 speakers throughout the vehicle. Uh, we'll have your Sync 3. It's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system from Ford. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, make or receive phone calls. You can control your audio, your climate, uh, all throughout the screen. This touch screen here makes it real nice and easy to be able to swipe, uh, a lot like your smartphone uh, right there uh, as well. So, And then your backup camera will show up in this uh, camera right here. Uh, and I'll actually show you what it looks like when you, because this one does have another package we're going to talk about uh, with the 360 gig camera. So we'll show you how all that's going to look with that screen. Up here in the mirror, it does have auto dimming rear view mirror. So it's going to dim that mirror when those cars are going to come up behind you, those bright lights. Also, you get auto dimming side, driver's side view mirror as well. Uh, so if someone's going to pass you on this side, it's going to dim that exterior mirror as well. And up here on the overhead console, you have a bin up here for sunglasses, so you can uh, pop that open. And the smaller compartment is a little mirror, so if you need to see those kids in the back, you can go ahead and pop that down. It's a little bit easier to see those kids, especially over here on this side or straight in the back using this mirror, the little mirror up there. And then you're going to see the controls for your lights up there. And there's some other controls we're going to talk about in just a little bit. On the visor, you do have garage door openers for three different garage doors. Anything with transmitters, garage doors, gates. If you live on a farm that has a gate that has a transmitter that you use, you can program it onto here. So that way you don't have to have that garage door clipped on here and it fall down when you want to bring the visor down. Uh, so that's uh, how that's going to figure as well right there. So I think I've covered everything. Uh, one last thing I want to cover uh, for the Expedition is the Ford Pass Connect. Standard equipment on your limited uh, Ford Pass Connects allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's an app that Ford wants you to download. You can be able to make and receive, or you can, uh, through the app, you can uh, get it confused with sync. You can go ahead and st remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, locate your vehicle. A lot of great functionality with that app. I did find out recently that on 2019s, it's going to be good for one year. Uh, for other outside of that, after a year, they will have you sign up for a subscription. And they haven't actually disclosed. Uh, what that cost is going to be yet. I'm assuming right around that $5 range, maybe $10 uh, for that feature. But I love using the feature. Uh, it's a great feature to have, uh, so you're going to be able to do that. You can also schedule a service through the app as well uh, using that and be, be able to stay connected to your uh, dealership that you purchased from or your local dealership. And then also, I did forget to mention there is a PowerPoint up here. And then there's two different glove boxes here. You do have a higher one that you open up. You can see kind of more shallow. You can put small, smaller items in there. Uh, also, you have the bigger glove box underneath that with two different compartments. You have a bigger opening down there and a, uh, another one up here where a lot of, a lot of times you'll see the owner's manual will be located up there on that shelf up there. So um, great configuration, a lot of equipment. I think I covered everything. If I forgot something, oh, I actually did forget something before I moved to the, to the other equipment. There is two different other features that are, the buttons are located here on the left side of the steering wheel. One of them is the power adjustable pedals. So the pedals uh, can be powered forward and back so if a tall shorter driver you can adjust those pedals and those will be also programmed in with your driver memory and then there's a switch over here above your headlights uh, one of them is your to the right is going to be the power lift gate so if you, you know, pull up kids or soccer balls or they need to put the stuff in the back you can just open that up for them and then shut it using that button as well and the button on the left is actually for those headrests I told you those headrests are, all, are up when it comes those are really tall headrest up there to protect those in the third row seat um, but if you need you're backing up and you want instead of using the camera would like to see through the back window you can just press this button and it's going to lower those headrests down automatically for you so again great standard equipment a lot of features on this limited trim but let's go ahead and move on to the different packages and, and talk about some other optional equipment you can get as well well guess what i did forget something there's so much equipment on these i almost forgot a class exclusive 
for the expedition for 2018 and of course is available in 2019 and that's the tip and slide second row seat so there's a button right over here give you an image of what that looks like you just press that button and it's going to release that seat and then you go ahead and just slide it forward so that way it's a little bit easier to get in and out of the seat so kids should be able to move that forward um, make it a little bit easier and then you just slide it back into position you can also pull this lever here and it releases it as well instead of hitting that button so great configuration and you'll notice then it, it, when you use this it just puts it back down where you wanted it the seat will slide forward and back middle row can also slide that way and then if you just want to lay the seat down the backrest you just push the lever and it's going to lower it down to give you a flat load level in there too so um, configuration that i almost forgot to mention that is i think very important feature class exclusive on your expedition Another standard equipment that is actually, I thought was uh, going to be optional equipment is actually included within the limited uh, as part of the XLT 202A equipment group and on above is going to be your Bliss with cross traffic alert. So I love this system. It's your blind spot information system. So if there is someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in a corner of that mirror and let's just know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, a cross traffic alert works as if there's someone that's crossed your path behind you, it's going to alert you with the light in the side of that mirror from the side they're coming from, put the message on the dash to tell you if they're coming from the left or the right, and a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So I love how that works. Also, don't forget, if you are pulling that trailer, the Bliss system will also include the trailer monitoring. So it will include the blind spot of your trailer as well as your SUV. So a great system. This, again, is standard equipment on all your limiteds. 300A equipment group. Now let's move on to the 301A equipment group. Now we're going to talk about uh, different equipment groups, and this one's called the 301A equipment group. Includes uh, one package as well as two standalone options that are available on the 300A. Uh, first one to talk about is your driver assistance package. And this is a package you see on the Expedition XLT as well, uh, but the driver assistance package includes uh, five great features. And the first one I'll talk about is your pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection and forward collision warning. And so that is going to be able to detect if there's someone in front of you that stopped going much slower than you and you're going too fast, you're not gonna break in time. It's gonna alert you with a series of lights on the dash and tones that you need to stop and will initiate brake support for you as well. And it detects those pedestrians up there. So it gives you the warnings and then it gives you the brake support that goes along with that. So that's, that feature is part of this. You also get with this, uh, you're going to get the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Kind of uses some of those same features. Uh, so when you have that cruise set, you can adjust your gap. If you're coming behind someone, they go much uh, slower than you. Uh, it's going to go ahead and slow you down to go their speed until you pass them and they speed back up. Even if they come to complete stop, you're going to as well. You don't have to hit your brake. So great system. Uh, adaptive cruise with stop and go is going to be part of this package as well. You also get the auto high beams. Auto high beams work a lot like your automatic headlights, but for your high beams. So if you are on a dark street, alley, you know, a road, and uh, it's really dark outside, it's going to turn those auto high beams on. If someone approaches you or if you're in the city lights, it's going to automatically turn them off. That is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen, along with the next feature, which is your, your rain sensing wipers. So it goes real nicely with the windshield wiper de-icers. The rain sensing wipers, if you have it in one of those auto settings uh, or those intermittent settings on your wiper switch, it's gonna automatically turn the wipers on. So when it starts to rain, it's gonna turn them on automatically. You don't have to turn them on. You don't have to adjust the, the, the tempo of the wipers. It's gonna do that for you. Uh, I love the rain sensing wipers, but that is a feature if you don't like, you can deactivate in the settings screen as well uh, in your driver assist uh, features. Also, you have your lane keeping system. It includes three features. One of them is your driver alert. So this is something you can activate and deactivate, but it will alert you if you use the system too often. If you're not leaving, taking your hands off the steering wheel too often as well, it alerts you and lets you know that. And then you do have your lane keeping aid system and alert system. Now alert system, what it's gonna do is if you start leaving your lane, it's gonna still let you leave your lane, but it's gonna vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you've left your lane. And then the aid system actually helps keep you in your lane. So if you're starting to leave that lane and you don't use your wipe, your turn signals, it's going to try to keep you in your lane. So if you are changing lanes, make sure you use those turn signals so that way it knows that you're wanting, wanting to do that. Otherwise, it'll try to keep you in your lane. It'll be really hard to switch lanes. So a great system, and that's all part of the driver assistance package. And then you're also going to get with this, you're going to get the navigation system. Voice-activated navigation with the pinch and zoom capabilities comes with a serious XM traffic 
Traffic and Travel Link uh, as well. I think a five-year subscription to that. Uh, so real great system. Forgot to mention this does have Sirius XM satellite radio as standard equipment for six months uh, and as well to go along with that. So a great navigation system that you can use in here to set your destination and even waypoints as well. And then you have the panoramic vista roof is going to be part of these, this equipment group. So it does have the uh, dual panel um, moon roof up there with the power sunshade that will open and close for you. Uh, a lot of people like that, especially the kids in the back want to be able to see what's going on if they're getting bored on their drive. So the power, that is going to be part of this equipment group. So now those three things are also standalone options as part of the 300A equipment group. So I am going to cover that now. Uh, so those options alone. So your power, your panoramic vista roof can be a standalone option on the 300A. So if you don't want, the, don't need the driver assistance package or uh, or the um, navigation, but you want that panoramic vista roof, you can order the 300A and get that roof. Also the navigation. Navigation can be a standalone option on the 300A. So if you don't want to, you know, pay the price to go up to the driver assistance package. Uh, save you some money to do the 300A, add that package on there, and then the driver assistance package alone, all those five features are also a standalone option package on the 300A. Of course, all those three can, are included in the 301A equipment group. Now we're going to talk about the 302A equipment group. This is where we order most of our vehicles for the limited in because really the XLT uh, with a couple different packages like a 202A equipment group gives you a lot of the features from the limited. So this is the package we found that a lot of people when they get a limited want to go up to. Uh, it does include everything as part of that 301A equipment group. So the driver assistance package, the panoramic vista roof, and the navigation is going to be included th with this package uh, plus four other uh, great features. And one of them I want to talk about are those headlights. So LED headlights and fog lights. So this one here does have this package on it. So you're going to have the LED headlights up here with the LED fog lights, LED tail lights as well. So all LEDs. I love the LED lights that go wrap around as well here as uh, part of uh, when you can have on as your daytime running lights. So real nice look to the headlights up here. Also you're going to get 360 degree camera with this package. So uh, you do have the uh, front and rear uh, front camera as well as a rear camera that are going to have a washer. In fact, earlier I said the rear camera had a washer standard equipment that's actually part of this package. Uh, you don't get the rear washer standard equipment. This vehicle had it on it, so I was a little confused on that. You're also going to get cameras underneath both of these exterior mirrors. So you can see completely around the vehicle in a split view on the camera. And then you can see the front or backup camera on the one side with 360 degrees around the vehicle. Makes it a lot easier backing up around things and parking lots and such, being able to see all the way around the vehicle. Uh, so that's going to be as part of this package. Also, you're going to get the enhanced active park assist. So that is going to come with the, the new enhanced active park assist where it parallel parks your vehicle, takes care of all the steering while you control the gas and the brake, includes reverse perpendicular parking, and it helps you park out of those tight parking spaces as well. So you, when you're wanting to, to leave those parking spaces, if you're kind of tucked in there, you can use the system to help you get out of those tight parking spaces. So I do have a video on our YouTube channel where I did this on an Edge when it first came out with the new Enhanced Active Park Assist. So do check out that video if you want to. I'll try to remind, remember my, to put it down in the description as well. Um, but if not, uh, you can check it out on our YouTube channel under the how-to videos or the informational videos. Also, you're going to get this wheel. We've been looking at this throughout the video. It is a 22-inch polished aluminum wheel. Uh, also con includes the CCD, the Continuously Controlled Dampening Suspension. So that dampening suspension is constantly monitoring that road to give you a smooth ride, even through potholes and everything. And you get that system when you go up to the 22-inch wheels. Uh, so anytime you have see a vehicle with the 22s, it's going to have the CCD uh, also included within this 302A equipment group. Now I want to talk about the 303A equipment group. This is a new equipment group for 2019. Uh, they call it the Stealth Package or Stealth Equipment Group as you might call it. So it's going to be a real nice package. We did see them release at one of the auto shows and uh, now it's going to be available for you. It's a late availability for 2019. Uh, that's one reason why this video is a little late because I wanted to make sure we had one of these to show you. So it's a great. Uh, this actually takes everything from your 302A equipment group uh, and uh, tweaks a couple things and then adds some other features as well. So it will include as just kind of a review and I'll have the, your driver assistance package with all five of those features as part of that package. Also is going to have that twin panel moon roof uh, that we did see from the 301A as well as your navigation, your voice activated navigation with the uh, Sirius XM traffic and traveling. Also includes uh, some of the features from the 302A as well including your 360 degree camera with the camera on the front, the back, underneath these mirrors to give you that split screen view on that 8 inch touchscreen there. 
Also, you're going to get the enhanced active park assist from that 302A equipment group. So you're going to be able to, you know, parallel park in your vehicle, uh, reverse perpendicular park your vehicle, and park out as using that system. Uh, we're using the sensors on the side as well as the sensors on the front and the back. Also, it will get the LED headlights and tail lights and fog lights. The only difference is instead of the bright that you're going to see on a 302A, now they're going to be a high gloss or a gloss black finish in those housings. So as you get a close up of that, you can see the black finish on those as well as the bezels down here on around the fog lights. Uh, that's going to be an upgrade, a little bit different on those. Also, you're going to get a different wheel. So you are still going to get a 22 inch wheel, but instead of a polish, you're going to get the 22 inch premium dark painted aluminum wheel. So great looking wheel. Also will uh, include the CCD that continues to control dampening suspension uh, like you would see with any of your 22s to give you a, a kind of an adaptive suspension. So you're going to get a great ride uh, and adapts for the road conditions to give you that smooth ride. Also gives you some other great appearance of features, not only outside but also on the inside. So let me cover those. I already talked about the headlights. Let's talk about up here on the hood. Expedition wording on the hood. We've seen that in your Explorer Sport. Uh, now you're going to see it with this package on the Expedition. So real nice look on the hood. Here on the grill, high gloss or that gloss black finish. Those three bars in the middle are going to get upgraded as well as in, in between there are going to be a gloss finish as well. So that kind of uh, touches that up from that gray inserts and the chrome uh, to the high gloss uh, finish over here. And then also down here on the on lower part down here, you're going to see a high gloss finish there. So that black and that gloss black finish right there where those sensors are located right above your tow hooks. Uh, so that's the, the look on the front of it. Here on the side, your power to pull up a runner boards are going to get instead of a chrome accent, it's part of the limited, you're going to get that gloss black finish here on the side. So you're going to see that uh, kind of make an impact on the lower part of the vehicle, kind of give it a Kind of, kind of brings that that black and uh, that blackness underneath, and kind of brings that down and gives it a great look. Here on the mirrors, high gloss black finish on those as well. So now the entire mirror, not just the bottom, is going to have that black finish. Also, the door handles. Instead of having the chrome inserts on the door handles, now they're going to be body colored completely on all the door handles. Roof rack side rails up here are going to go from those chrome that you'd get on the limited to the uh, same, basically. Uh, roof rack rails you would get on your XLT. So it is going to get molded in black up there. Again, giving it that sport look on the side over here. And then moving to the back, you're going to see the, uh, the housing for your tail lights are going to have that black. You're also going to get the applique back here. Instead of chrome, it's going to be black. If you have the Max like this one, it will have the Max and the high gloss finish as well. And then the limited wording as well down here will be instead of chrome will be the black as well. And then this rear skid plate as well as the hitch cover is going to be that gloss black finish here on the back of it to really complete the exterior uh, vehicle in this sport look with all the black accents. Couple upgrades to the interior as well. This uh, package or this equipment group is only available with your black interior, uh, but it's going to upgrade some nice trim accents in here. You'll see the red stitching throughout the vehicle, so you're going to see it on the dash, the doors, your uh, on your console as well, and on your seat trim. So real nice uh, red accents. We see that when you're looking at any kind of sport packages, whether it be the Explorer Sport or the Edge ST, you see some red stitching and red accents throughout the vehicle on those. So you're going to get that with this as well. Also going to get black floor mats as well as part of this this equipment group. And another thing that uh, I noticed that is not mentioned on the order guide, uh, but is in the vehicles that, that we ordered and that we that showed up for us. You're going to also have this carbon fiber finish on the console cover as well as the door insert. So real nice uh, finish to that. And I noticed the vent covers are a little bit different color as well. So it kind of gives it uh, more of instead of a gray, uh, you know, a medium gray. Now you have a really dark gray, almost a black color to those vent covers as well that you see uh, on the dash. So real nice uh, look in addition to the Expedition for 2019. Again, new for this year, the Stealth Package or the 303A Equipment Group. Now that we've talked about all the different equipment groups and what's included within those, I now I want to talk about the different packages uh, and what's available in the different packages and what equipment groups are available with. Now we already talked about uh, earlier about the, the couple different packages available on the 300A uh, that are included in the 301A. So I won't cover those uh, just briefly. Uh, the moonroof is available as a standalone option. Uh, also the uh, navigation system that are standard equipment on pretty much the 301A and above and the driver assist package. So I won't cover all that. We did cover that earlier in the video. You can always go back and, and review that. I do want to move on to the, some different uh, packages that are available on the 301A equipment group. And the first one includes a lot of features. Now this one here is called the special edition package. The special edition package includes 
pretty much all the equipment that you get on the 302A equipment group, and the reason they break it out is only available on the 301A is because of the different wheels. So it is gonna include everything from the 301A, it's going to also include the LED headlights and fog lights we talked about as part of the 302A equipment group. The enhanced active park assist as well is going to be included in this package. Also again included in the 302A equipment group in the 360 degree cameras. So with that split screen there where you can see that and back up uh, real easily. That again, something you see as uh, part of that 302A equipment group. The difference is the wheels. So it is going to be that the, the uh, 22 inch wheels, just like in the 302A, but they're going to be the same wheel you, we did just see on the stealth package. So it is that premium dark uh, painted or black uh, alloy wheels there. So great looking wheel. Again, this wheel is only available on the stealth package in this package. So if you kind of like that, those dark wheels, that you can get this package and it's gonna include that. But this package also includes two other packages that we're gonna talk about as standalone options as well. Uh, first one is the heavy duty trailer tow package. That package is included with this uh, in the special edition package as well as the cargo package. So let's talk about both of those packages while we're talking about the special edition package. The heavy duty trailer tow package includes five features in it. And this is the package you wanna get if you wanna do the max amount of trailer towing. Uh, first, you're gonna get the heavy duty engine radiator in here. So a lot bigger radiator uh, is gonna be able to handle more towing. Uh, and that's uh, why it's included in the heavy duty trailer tow package. It really helps that engine uh, be a little more efficient, especially when you're towing. Also, you're gonna get the 373 limited or electronic limited slip differential. So that uh, really upgrades the rear end for towing uh, and it's kind of made for that. So it's, you're gonna get that upgraded uh, 373. Also, you're gonna get the two-speed four-wheel drive system with neutral towing. And so it's a little bit different. You're gonna see that drive modes uh, there, the four by fours. Earlier, we just see that you had the two high and you had the four auto. Now you're gonna get a four low. So you can have an all-time four low, allowing you to be able to go in that four low if you need to. And that'd be very uh, important when you're maybe pulling a boat out of the water and you get some slippage there you can put it in that four low and pull that boat right out of the, the water a lot better and so that's uh, a purpose uh, behind that also you're going to get two other ways to be able to help your towing and one of them is the integrated trailer brake controller so it comes in real handy when you have that trailer back there especially if you're coming down hills you can use that trailer to kind of slow it down uh, helps uh, save your brakes a little bit on the vehicle and then you have the pro trailer backup assist a lot of people love the tro pro trailer backup assist uh, you can just you just use that dial along with your camera to control the trailer instead of having to figure out if you need to turn your steering wheel left or right comes in real handy for those that are new to trailering and pulling different trailers um, and I know I did it a lot, real early on when I was pulling my boat uh, backing it up I always turned the steering wheel the wrong way now you just turn that dial and control it with that so uh, some great uh, features that part of this uh, heavy duty trailer tow package also the cargo manager or cargo package is what they call it uh, first feature on that is going to be the crossbars up there on the top of the roof rack so you have those black crossbars up there to help manage the cargo that's going to come in real handy especially if you have the regular length expedition with the cargo package that helps put those suitcases and different bags up there you can tie those down uh, saving you some room in the vehicle also the in, the advanced cargo manager which is in the back so let's go to the back and kind of cover that now the advanced cargo manager back here, uh, what's great about this is it allows you to get the, the shelf. We've seen this in the past on your expeditions, but it used to always be uh, only on the extended length. So what's great about this, even if you get the regular length like this one here is, you're gonna also get this cargo manager. So it is this kind of a shelf divider system. So it is gonna use those hooks that we talked about earlier as part of the, uh, that you can put those, uh, the cargo netting in or across there to kind of keep things in, in together. But also it's for this, the uh, main purpose is for the shelf. And so you can just pull this up. So you just uh, pull that like that and you can give it kind of a divider. So you just put it right in those positions right there and it's gonna go ahead and contain things in there. So, you know, especially if you have the soccer balls, soccer bags and those balls that roll around and out of the cargo area on you all the time, you can pull this up here, put everything in there and that way you don't have to worry about them rolling around or rolling out of the cargo area when you, when you lift it up. So especially too, if you have bags that might shift on you, this is a great way to kind of manage that so you don't have all those up coming out. Also, you can then pivot it uh, this way here and you can go ahead and make a shelf out of it. So the reason for that shelf is also to manage that cargo as well. So uh, if you have bags down here and you have a more of a tiered system, you're putting bags on top of bags and then you open that car, the, uh, 
the lift gate and they fall out on you. Uh, you don't want that to happen. So this helps you out, manage it a little bit better. Also, it doesn't smash some of the other bags that are down below, especially if you have it, you know, kind of tiered up on you. Uh, you can uh, make this a little bit easier to kind of manage your cargo area. So again, this is part of the cargo package along with the roof rack crossbars. So now we're going to wrap up some of the, these different packages and how they're available. The first one I'm going to talk about is your Texas Edition package. Now this package is only available on the 31A Equipment Group and it's going to include everything as part of the Special Edition package that we talked about already. So uh, you're going to get these same, same wheels, uh, you're going to get that pretty much all the features, uh, the rest of the features from the 302A Equipment Group as well as that heavy duty trailer pa tow package and your cargo package and you're going to get the Texas Edition badge on the side. So this is a package that's new for 2019 and is only available in your U.S. markets. Uh, so that's a great package for you to add uh, to this uh, uh, to the vehicle if you like to. Also, it's, uh, two packages we talked about as part of the special edition package. Let's talk about those uh, individually because you're probably wondering, can I still get that package on uh, different other equipment groups? Uh, so first, let's talk about the cargo package. Cargo package is available as standalone uh, package on the 300, 31A, and 302A equipment groups. So uh, that is available on uh, any of those as well. It's going to be available on the, is, uh, on the 303A equipment group as well. We'll talk about that in just a second. Also, the heavy duty trailer tow package. Also, optional equipment on the 300, 301A, and 302A equipment group, uh, too. So, you can get, get it on those equipment groups as well as a standalone package. Uh, and it's also going to be included in the, pack, uh, the uh, group we're going to talk about next. So, let's talk about that. Convenience package. The convenience package is new for 2019 because it's only available on a 303A equipment group. So, it is going to include your cargo package, your heavy duty, pay, or heavy duty trailer tow package. And it's also going to get the rear inflatable seat belts. So uh, this is the first time we're going to see that as part of this. And now there's going to be a standalone option. We'll talk about how you can get that uh, if you don't get this 303A equipment group. So you can get the rear inflatable seat belts. Uh, they are going to deploy from those, uh, those uh, outbound seats on the second row for you to protect from those front and side collisions. Uh, so great uh, different package. So if you're wanting um, maybe the 303A equipment group and you're wanting the uh, cargo package and your heavy duty trailer tow package, you'll need to get that convenience package. So now we've covered all the different packages. Let's talk about standalone options. And there aren't too many other standalone options. Most of everything is included in different packages. Uh, so hopefully uh, that can be a little confusing on how that's ordered. So, uh, you know, if you have any questions, you can actually reach out to us and we can clarify any of that. But so let's talk about some of these standalone options. Uh, first one is your engine block heater. We see that available as an optional equipment from the factory on most of your vehicles, especially if you live in a cold weather state, you can just uh, plug the, uh, that in, keeping that warm so uh, the vehicle will warm up a lot easier in the winter time when it's really, really cold outside. Also, let's talk about the second row seating. We talked about the inflate, rear inflatable seat belts as part of the uh, convenience package on a 303A equipment group, but also is available as a standalone option on the 300, 301, and 302A equipment group. So it is available as a standalone option if you'd like. Again, it's going to deploy those rear inflatable seat belts on those outbound seats. Uh, speaking of the seating configuration, standard as we talked about was the 40-20-40 uh, split bench seat in the second row, but you can get the optional bucket seats like we did see earlier. Uh, it is going to give the power tip and slide as well, uh, and so you can have the bucket seats with the pass-through in the middle, so they can just get through to the back seat. So that would can take you down one seat, so it would be a seven instead of an eight passenger vehicle, so that's something to keep in mind if you decide you want the, those bucket seats. Now let's talk about a couple features that are available. Uh, you can order it from the factory or you can order it after you get your vehicle from the Ford, uh, your Ford uh, dealership accessories, Ford accessories as well. Uh, one of them is the rear headrest DVD player. So it's actually not DVD, they call it a rear entertainment or rear seat entertainment system now. Uh, because it does more than just play a DVD. You can plug in AV cables, you can play gaming systems on those, you can plug in USB ports or USB drives that maybe have videos on them that, for them to watch, and it's going to come with uh, two sets of headrests or two sets of headphones as well. And it will be replacing the original headrest with the DVD headrest in them. So uh, that is something that's available for you as optional equipment. As well as a couple different ways to protect the floor of the vehicle. So first one is your all-weather mats. Those floor liners. Uh, so again, it would go in the footwells in the front seat as well as the footwells in the back seat uh, to, pr to protect those, uh, those kids getting in and out, uh, especially in the winter time when it's, uh, you get a lot of snow, 
or maybe in a uh, rain uh, climate where you might be getting in and tracking mud in, a great uh, way to be able to protect the, the floor liners uh, for the vehicle. Also the rear cargo, you can get a reversible cargo mat and that is for an extended length or the regular length and it's going to go in the back of there so you can protect it. It's going to be carpet on one side, I'll flip it over, it's all weather and the other, which I really like that as a great feature because maybe you uh, like the carpet and mat in there so things slide in a little bit easier, uh, but when you maybe get some flowers, you get something that might get it wet or dirty, you can just flip it over. Uh, it's already in there and then you can go ahead and protect it that way. So those are your standalone options that are available on your 2019 Ford Expedition Limiteds. Now don't forget the warranty is going to be a three-year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five-year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance and that if you're looking at a vehicle on a lot you can see that right under the standard equipment that shows uh, those warranties as well as uh, you can put those window stickers on about any other Ford dealerships website as well and speaking of that don't forget to go to our website check out our great inventory lawmacarthur.com there in each one of our vehicles you can check for availability schedule test drive you can see pictures a 360 degree virtual reality as well and inside as well as an outside perspective on each one of our new vehicles in stock so uh, definitely take advantage of that you'll also find our great internet pricing which no matter where you live in the country you can get that same great internet price uh, we would have to verify your uh, zip code because our price online uh, does include the rebates based on our zip code here uh, so if you don't live uh, close to us or in this region you may want to give us a call and verify those and you can do that by calling 785 378-5031. You can also text us at that number or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316. So really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the complete guide on the 2019 Ford Expedition Limited. Now, if you don't live close to us, you would like to deal with us, it's pretty simple. We do free shipping to anybody that's seen our video on YouTube. So give us a call and let us know that you saw this vehicle on YouTube. We'll give you free shipping to your door. So that way you can feel free and feel comfortable getting from a buying from a dealership that knows their product. It's going to make sure they get the vehicle ordered exactly the way you want it and shipped right to your door. What a great way to buy a vehicle, right? We call it the easy way around here uh, where you can get just exactly what you're wanting, do all the paperwork and everything and have it delivered right to your door. You don't even have to leave your living room. So uh, if an expedition you know is what you're wanting and you know exactly how you want to order, just give us a call or send us a text message at 785 378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316. Now we do ask, and uh, we're very transparent about this, that you finance a vehicle with us because the shipping isn't free to us, but we don't incur it onto you. So if you uh, finance a vehicle with us, uh, then the lenders will give us a kickback for that and that's how we're able to uh, recover some of that cost. So we're very transparent about it. Uh, it's it's no, nothing hidden or anything. Uh, it's just a, a great way for us to be able to uh, do uh, business with people that are outside of our market area that like to do business with us based on these uh, videos that you're seeing here on YouTube. Now, if you haven't had a chance yet, hit that red subscribe button down there. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel. You can see these great Ford Lincoln content as well as we do some cool aftermarket builds too. You might want to check out as well uh, and hit that notification bell. That way you can get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you haven't had a chance yet, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's other people know it's a great video. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel in this video. And if you got something out of this uh, content, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know down in the comments as well uh, that you got something out of this. That this is a, a very informative video for you. And that was my goal to kind of enlighten you, help you uh, find the perfect vehicle that you're looking for. Uh, I know when I've wanted to get a vehicle, uh, you know, being able to, to be in the business, I'm able to, you know, know exactly what's in different packages. And I just want to let other people know that uh, they can find that same information themselves. So hopefully uh, this helped you out. If you this first time following uh, one of these videos or watching this video, you like to follow me on on uh, social media. You can find me I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook or Twitter. So definitely uh, follow me there, and I will always will retweet uh, all of our different uh, videos that we upload uh, as I upload them to our YouTube channel. So you can follow me on Twitter, and you can get uh, f uh, get those links as well if you uh, do turn on those notifications for me. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget uh, if you have haven't yet, subscribe hit that notification bell, as well as hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until the next video, we'll see you later.